On this video, I'm going to explain the main concepts of tensor decomposition, specifically the Tucker decomposition and HOSVD. So this is the outline uh, for today's video. Uh, first, I'm going to explain what is a tensor. Then I'm going to briefly mention what is a tensor decomposition. After that, I'm going to explain SVD or singular value decomposition. Subsequently, um, as I'm going to explain CP decomposition and Tucker decomposition. And finally, I'm going to give an example uh, related to micro seismic data. So first, uh, what is a tensor? A tensor is a D-dimensions uh, way array or multi-dimensional collection of numbers. Uh, for instance, vectors uh, can be described as first order uh, tensors matrices as second-order tensors, and finally, um, we can also have a third-order tensor, how you can see that in the figure. Uh, nevertheless, a tensor can also have uh, dimensions that are greater than three, how you can observe here. So a tensor decomposition is just essentially the decomposition of a tensor into parts. Two of the most uh, important tensor decompositions are CP, canonical polyadic decomposition, or Tucker uh, and Tucker decomposition. Uh, many of other decomposition techniques can also be based on these uh, two techniques or these two principles. Um, it is important to highlight that these methods here uh, can be used to obtain uh, hidden information and reduce the size of the model. Uh, one important aspect uh, to point out is that it features uh, different generalized properties of the matrix SVD. Before explaining the different tensor decompositions, I will introduce SVD, Singular Value Decomposition. SVD is a technique used for the reduction or compression of data. So what we basically are going to do is to decompose a matrix into a set of vectors or matrices. So you take or decompose a matrix, A in this case, and write it as a product of U, sigma, and B, where U are the left singular vectors, which corresponds to a tall and a skinny matrix, sigma, which are the singular values, and they are the diagonal entries of this matrix and are arranged in descending order. And we have V, which are the uh, right singular vectors, which corresponds to a short and fat matrix. Right now, I'm going to mention some characteristics and basic knowledge of CP tensor decomposition. The method works by decomposing a tensor into parts, specifically uh, rank one uh, tensors here that you can see here. And it is defined as the uh, product of the vector's elements. R here, or here, um, are described as the minimum number of rank 1 tensors which are needed to produce x as their sum. And this m that you can see here, or here, gives a concise representation for the tensor x. So now we're going to explain Tucker decomposition uh, Tucker decomposition is essentially a higher-order extension of SVD, uh, where we find the best rank approximation of it. So we decompose a tensor into a so-called core tensor, and this core tensor can be described as a dense, dense tensor of interactions between factor matrices and uh, factor matrices uh, U, V, and W. And each one of them uh, corresponds to different core scalings here along each mode. Uh, this is a figure of the three-way talker and the matrix SVD in order to observe the similitude between both of them. Uh, this is the basic structure for a 3D uh, tensor, uh, but it's important to mention that it works for higher order um, so it can be used for if you have a more complex uh, data set. So in order to obtain x, uh, we basically multiply uh, my core tensor 
and uh, factor matrices uh, by the X1 mode, X2 mode, and X3 mode. The dimensions go from um, N1 uh, to ND, basically the original size. And here, um, it's important to mention that this is the compression ratio. And this uh, shows us uh, how much you have compressed or shrink uh, your dimensions. However, uh, there are several compression ratio relationships that you can use, and uh, there are a lot of uh, studies and research related to, to that. Um, one of the first steps uh, in Tucker decomposition is to unfold the tensor. Uh, the reason why we do that is because it is easier to think in a matrix form rather than a tensor array. Uh, so the main idea is to work with only uh, 1D uh, structure of the tensor. So we need to multiply each of these uh, fibers that you can see here uh, for a matrix um, in order to obtain a reduced uh, core tensor or reduced uh, matrix. Moreover, um, it is important to mention that for Tucker decomposition, you can assign the accuracy that you want. And he is going to um, estimate uh, the error associated with it. Uh, this is epsilon, the accuracy or error associated. Um, this is the core tensor. This is how you obtain it. And this is how you measure uh, if it satisfies or not. Um, now, uh, this is the HOSVD or higher order singular value decomposition. Uh, this is just a special uh, form of Tucker decomposition where the factor matrices and core tensors are orthogonal. Um, this is uh, the core tensor and it's a combination of uh, singular values and the factor matrices here um, represent the combination of singular vectors. So, how you can observe, this is basically the same as Tucker decomposition. Uh, the only thing is the orthogonally uh, aspect. Uh, moreover, uh, the singular values of this uh, core tensor can be defined by the uh, Frobenius norm that you can see here um, of the slices uh, for the different modes. Uh, this is just the, the figure associated with it. Finally, a sequentially HOSVD can be applied. Uh, this is uh, only an improvement of the HOSVD, uh, where basically the tensor shrinks at each step, uh, reducing subsequent computations. Uh, here uh, you can observe uh, the main steps of it. Uh, just to show you a little bit about the structure of the code, although I'm going to, in the example that I'm going to give, I'm going to show uh, a little bit about the code that I use. Um, so this is first the relative error or tolerance that we can establish uh, in order to get uh, the current tensor that we want to. Um, and uh, this is a tensor. Uh, we're generating a tensor structure here. Uh, this is uh, the generation of a core tensor and error associated with it. Uh, this is basically uh, the best core uh, tensor dimensions that you can find using this HOSVD. And finally, uh, the elapsed time associated with the HOSVD. Um, it's important to mention that the generation of the core tensor is basically a low rank tensor uh, that is going to approximate uh, my data, so re the reduced form of it. Uh, so also I, want, I wanted to show these, uh, these are some of the references. Uh, here we have very good videos and presentations uh, where they explain tensor decomposition, uh, most of my slides and information are obtained through these presentations and some of the publications that they have made. And uh, this is the Tensor Toolbox uh, that they developed 
in the one that I'm going to use. 